The site admin serves many functions, from the most basic settings to products, orders, and customer record control. You may not want everyone to see everything. No problem. Cartweaver, as well as many other e-commerce applications, allow multi-level access to the admin features. We'll look at what this means and how to set it up. We'll also walk through the other settings available under the Admin Settings menu panel. To do that, let's go back to the admin. We'll want to log in as developer so we'll have access to everything. And let's go to Admin Settings. First of all, let's look at the user settings. Here's where we have the multi-level user access control. As we can see, we have Service, Developer, Manager, and Merchant. These are various levels of access that are allowed to see different things. Developer basically is allowed to see everything. Service and Manager, I'd recommend you click around and see what's available there and what's not. Merchant is something that we can actually customize. You may want to narrow that down to just looking at products. It depends on what kind of access you want to grant. This may be somebody in a customer service department and they just see products and customers. You can dial that in later on and we'll show you how to do that. Now, these are locked in. You can't change these, but you can change the password and I definitely recommend that you do that when this goes up on your server. You can see what kind of access level. You can create new admin users. You're not locked into these. You can go ahead and create a new one if you want and give it what level access you want. But right now, we'll just stay with the default settings. Next, let's take a look at admin controls. These are basic controls that controls the admin itself. So we can see use admin error handling. You want to do that. Theme directory. There's actually multiple themes that come with Cartweaver. A lot of e-commerce applications offer that where you can tailor the look a little bit or you can just open up the CSS files and do what you want and make it look the way you want. The next three enable customer paging, order paging, and product paging. What that does is breaks up the display of these pages in your admin so that you don't load up everything all at once. If you have a small store, you probably want to disable those because you won't need it. But if you have a really large store, it could get really cumbersome loading up 100 different products with one click. For a large store, you would want to definitely enable paging. How many records per page? If these are enabled, then you can decide how many you want to show per page. Use text editor. Now what this does is there's built-in text editors throughout the admin for entering information. These are simple text editors, but they really make formatting your text much, much easier. But some prefer to paste in HTML code. So if you disable that, it'll be just a basic text field, and then you can paste your HTML code directly into those fields. So it all depends on how you prefer to work. The text editor CSS file, and that declares CSS files that the text editor refers to when you're entering like headline tags and that sort of thing. This is all customizable. And then again, for categories, options, and products, and we'll display those a little bit later, it allows you to choose whether you want text editors there or not as well. If you make any changes here, you can just go ahead and save them. If not, let's go ahead and move on. Click on the admin widgets page. And these are various widgets that are used in the admin. These are what's shown on the home page, and most of the time it's good to leave these checked because it gives you more information. But let's say you just want order information when you go to your home page. That's the first thing you want to see, what orders you have, so you can begin processing them. You can disable these other two and clear up that introductory page if you want. Then how many recent orders are shown on the home page? How many recent products shows you what you've added lately? What your top customers are? That's always a good thing to know who your most common or most frequent customers are and that can be displayed on the admin homepage. Any of these, if you set to zero, it just won't show. Again, top selling products. And you can save that if you want or not. Let's move on. So this controls the product section in your admin. You have your labels for your product. And this is helpful if you call them something different in your company culture. You can change them to what you want them to say so that your staff will understand what they're using. You can change these to whatever fits for you. Default price. You can set a default price to all products entered. And here we just have it zero, but you could have it like, I don't want any products to be under $5. And we don't want to forget that, so we can add that. You can use the alternate suggested price. And a lot of these features you'll see when we add products that are available, but you can turn them off and on at this page. And for alternate price labels, you have that. Use product additional info. Rather than going through every field, basically know that all the information you need to control your products are selectable here and controlled here. And it would be a good thing to play around with this a little bit and customize it to your liking. And that's it. We've gone through the admin settings. We now have our user account set up and have our basic product and admin 